how are you all today welcome back to my channel talking about bottom wear that every girl should have in her wardrobe now i understand that this whole topic of bottom wear can get really really overwhelming especially when there are new styles coming in and out every second week you open any shopping app you will be flooded with so many designs and styles and new trends that come in literally every single day so obviously there has to be confusion about this topic which is why i wanted to make this all very simple because when you're confused how will you put together a nice outfit how will you know your personal style by the way i do have an entire video on how you can find your personal fashion aesthetic if you're still unsure about whether you lean more towards romantic or classic or street style more minimal or bohemian i would highly recommend checking that video out i'll leave a link right here and down below as well i posted a video about tops every girl should be having and there were so many comments asking for this video so here it is without further ado let's get started i didn't just want to keep this video about western wear because on an everyday basis a lot of us do end up wearing indian wear as well so i will be talking about some indian wear essentials and then some western wear essentials the the first thing that I would suggest every girl should have in her wardrobe when it comes to Indian wear is a patiala salwar. Now these look really really nice. They look very fun. They're very comfortable. That's the best thing about these because they're so airy. It's very comfortable to wear. Mostly you'll find these in cotton and they have this drawstring right over here so you can adjust this accordingly. I have this in black and in white and I have worn these so many times when it comes to bottom wear colors play a very important role because with tops you can keep buying multiple tops so with bottom wear they're more sort of fixed pieces in your cupboard you find something that fits you really really well and then you end up wearing that on repeat a couple of times this is why your color choices have to be really on point over here traditionally a patiala salwar looks very very nice underneath a short kurta that's the traditional way to wear it and go about it but i see a lot of girls being very creative with this they wear crop tops and then they wear a nice little jacket on top so there are multiple ways to go about about this if you want to go with something particularly indian then you can wear it with a suit or if you want to go with something more indo western you can switch things up and make it into that as well which is why i feel like this is an essential in every girl's wardrobe next up we have these pants you can call these secret pants you can call these straight pants whatever you like to call these but again i feel like this is something that will go underneath all your suits this one is a nice mint green color so if it comes as a part of a suit set of course you know wear it with that suit if it doesn't then i wouldn't say you need to go out of your way and buy a color like this but definitely have this in white keep in mind if your suit is more flowy like an anarkali or an a-line cut i would say go with more tapered pants that are not as wide legs that is because there's already a lot of volume going on on top right because your anarkali is really flowy it's going to take up a lot of space so to balance it out something more tapered as your bottom would look a lot better but if your top wear is not as flowy then of course you can go with something that's a bit more flowy as your bottom wear for example plazos or shararas which is why shararas as a concept if you think about it from the top mostly they are closer to your body they're not flowy they're not very loose from the bottoms they do flare out which gives you that really pretty really aesthetic effect that really visually appealing look end of the day it is all about balancing it out next up we've got plazos now plazos are a very good bridge between western wear and indian wear i always feel like even my western plazo i sometimes switch and wear with my indian suits because they're so versatile and also plazos are super super comfortable they let air pass through and way better or it's way more convenient than wearing something that's super body hugging that's my personal opinion i would highly 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 recommend getting plazos that are elasticated from the waist these fit really really well one thing you want to be sure of if you're buying plazos is try to make sure they're not very see through because sometimes what happens is if you want to reuse these and wear these also as a part of your western wear you will not be able to do that if it's see through a lot of the times indian wear brands do not really pay much attention to it being see through or not because there's a longer kurta or a kurti that's going to be covering it however it is your wardrobe at the end of the day and if you know that you're going to be re-wearing it multiple times not just with your indian wear then just keep these smaller things in mind so that you don't have to end up buying two white plazos one for your indian wear one for your western wear just because you didn't think it through take this as a reminder so here i've got this sort of more western looking plazo so you will understand exactly how i end up mixing matching these things this is a ribbed plazo again super super comfortable it stretches really nicely just in case you think i don't read your comments i do and i will try to leave links to most of these 
lot of these are store bought so if anything is not available online i will try to leave a link to a similar piece for you and also a couple of my favorites that i'm not showing you here but i really feel like those would end up looking super super good so i will leave all the links down below keep in mind that if you're buying just a few limited items as your bottom wear you don't want to go easy on this you don't want to think that okay it's fine i'll make do with it you want to actually buy something that fits you really well that resonates with you really well because these form the building blocks of your outfit as i said i do also have plazos in white in black in beige in a dark brown color as well as a yellow color so i do end up experimenting a little bit but that's also because my work demands me to do that on an everyday basis keep in mind how your lifestyle is and if you don't think you need to have so many bright colors you would rather just have a few basic neutrals then by all means go with those all in all i would say they're effortless pieces to have to style and also to look more put together now a lot of the times you're not surrounded with people who want to dress better who want to have a well curated wardrobe and who want to level up in life just like we want to level up if you're somebody who finds yourself not knowing where to go what to do i do have an online video course which is all about grooming how you present yourself how you talk right how you sit elegant Elegantly, how you make an impression, how you build relationships and master the art of networking and of course exceed in your career. If you would like to join our course, you get one and a half hours of video content, eight additional cheat sheets and worksheets and a lot of resources from me as well as two live sessions with me exclusively as a part of that community. It's called the Glow Up Academy and you can join using the link given down in the description box below. I cannot wait to see you on the other side actually wanting to level up and you also get a certificate of completion. All right, let's talk a little bit about your formal wear what do you wear to office what do you wear on an everyday basis that is comfortable essential pieces you should be having let's talk about trousers if you've been here for a while you know how much i talk and appreciate these pants right over here now these are from zara i have an entire video where i talk about pants that you should have from zara they are not too expensive especially for all of my pear shaped girls they fit like a glove you will never have waist capping issues it's perfection and trust me i've tried trousers from so many different brands but nothing comes close to this they have these in a bunch of colors they also have one i think in pure white i have one in black and one in pink i also have one which is checkered so they have like multiple colors and you can obviously pick and choose which ones you like again neutrals should be must have in your wardrobe when you're buying trousers one thing you want to keep in mind is that they should have pockets so you can have front pockets you can have back pockets there are always going to be smaller things that you just want to shove into your pocket you don't want to compromise on smaller things here when i first bought these trousers these seemed like mock pockets to me they wouldn't open until i actually like tried to get them to open and then they did and then i found like a whole entire pocket inside so these ones even if you feel like to not have pockets they actually do they also have this v cut right over here now fun fact this is actually called an after dinner split actually a very functional thing to have in your bottom wear so next time you go bottom wear shopping try to see if your pants have this v cut because once you're done having dinner when you sit you would want the waistband to expand a little bit more and this v helps it do that when you just want to be comfortable without having to open a button because you've eaten way too much the universally acceptable length of your pants your jeans or your trousers should be about 1 inch above your ankle if you're not somebody who's very comfortable in more fitted pants then here is another option for you this does have again an elasticated waistband these are wide leg trousers and they are super super comfortable they have a very sort of semi formal look i wouldn't say they're super super professional or formal looking so if you have a really big board meeting to attend do not wear this but if you have just a regular office day and your office does allow for a little bit more flexibility i would would 100% go for this if i was working at an office this does have pockets these ones are from go colors and again they have a bunch of other colors as well i also have black ones like this that i'm wearing right now i don't know if you guys can see i get so many questions about these pants and these ones are from uniqlo in london unfortunately i haven't been able to find a similar piece online on their website or even in stores but go colors has really good options and a lot of colors including black and i would 100% vouch for them in fact i've been wearing go colors jeggings and leggings ever since i was in college so I am a total fan girl. Next up we've got lounge pants. Now here you can either go with joggers or you can go with linen pants. I'm showing you linen pants because I personally do not like the idea of wearing joggers except when you're going to the gym. Even when you're relaxing at home, avoid wearing pajamas and go for lounge pants instead. This will elevate your game. It's a must have. And the thing is if you don't have this in your cupboard, you will never want to wear it. This is not something very professional looking, which is why I also feel like a lot of the times people don't end up buying good lounge wear. And then every time that they are at 
home they end up wearing pajamas it's all a vicious cycle the solution is to invest in good loungewear it's got an elasticated waistband it's also got drawstrings right over here and the best part is it is not see through this was like the cherry on the cake for me cuz it's very difficult to find white bottom wear which is not see through not only are there pockets right over here this also has pockets at the back i had no idea i'm going to wear this so often i feel like i need to get a new pair because every time this is in the wash I feel like now what do I wear? This and my black pants, the ones I'm wearing right now, are pieces I absolutely cannot live without. For any kind of activity that you're doing, be it yoga, gymming, running, any other sport, you would want to have some kind of athletic wear as well. You can wear joggers, you can wear cycling shorts, or you can wear leggings. These are not just meant for when you're doing your sports, but also on an everyday basis. If you're going out somewhere, you can wear your leggings. Super duper stretchy. Have a look at this. A color like black is something you'll find almost everywhere. Just keep in mind if you're somebody who prefers wearing high waisted pants then your leggings should also be high waisted i got these ones from victoria secret in london and when i was coming back from london i knew how well they fit me and that i'm not going to find them here in india so i bought two more leggings same color same size that's how much i love these ones so i would highly recommend if you find a good pair of leggings that are comfortable invest in those they might be expensive these ones are really expensive for a pair of leggings but just because they fit so comfortably i don't even have to look beyond them a lot of leggings are going to make you feel uncomfortable they're going to stick to your body they're not going to be breathable enough and you want to stay away from those leggings you want to buy leggings that are comfortable that are your size that fit you perfectly from the waist so there's no waist gapping they don't need to be too long and they of course don't need to be too short next up we've got everybody's favorite jeans Every capsule wardrobe article you read or video you watch is going to mention jeans as a must have and I feel like yes of course it's very comfortable to wear but keep in mind that you don't need to stick to a certain style of jeans that is right now very much in trend I realized long back straight cut and skinny jeans are just not for me they make my legs feel so caged I just can't carry myself in those jeans that's when I realized wide leg jeans suit me much much better also because I have a pure shaped body type and I want comfort to be the key when I'm wearing jeans I don't want to just Just walk around and feel uncomfortable the entire day. The idea is to try on a couple of jeans and see which one looks good on you. Don't get fixated on a certain style just because you've seen your favorite fashion blogger wear it. Find a pair of jeans because I am telling you right now. Take it from me in writing. If there's anything. that i believe in 100% it is this your jeans are a staple in your wardrobe and they come at a price you will not keep buying jeans every second month so you want to have one good pair but make sure that one pair fits you absolutely perfectly if you have a body shape like mine you would know waist gapping is a very common issue which is why i would recommend taking your jeans to a tailor i've got my jeans altered from here and from the other side as well that's only because i wanted to wear jeans that fit me perfectly from the waist next up we've got a maxi skirt now you can buy a body hugging skirt like this one or you can buy a nice flared a line skirt this is completely your choice if you're somebody who has to go to a lot of meetings a pencil skirt would be a much better option for you but if you're in college and you don't have a lot of business professional formal ish meetings to go to then of course feel free to play around i bought this one in london it's a ribbed skirt which means it's going to be very comfortable because that ribbed material will make it stretchy so it's going to fit absolutely perfectly a little hack for you here if you want to make your legs appear longer make sure you're matching the color of your skirt or your pants or your jeans whatever you're wearing with the heels this skirt is black if i wear black heels underneath it it will make my legs appear a lot longer because it will give this illusion that they're sort of connected the color will bring this sort of unity into it so it will seem like one unit instead of breaking my feet and my legs into two separate units these were must have bottom wear pieces that you should be having in your cupboard apart from this of course you know if you'd like to wear skirts then you can wear shorter skirts if you'd like to go with something like shorts Then you can go with shorts but on an everyday basis do consider your lifestyle if you're going on a vacation or if you're staying in a very humid place of course shorts are going to be must have in your wardrobe and you can't do without these I would also recommend getting fleece lined leggings if you're staying in any place that does get really cold during the winter season fleece lined leggings are going to be your best friend they're very affordable and they keep you super super warm with these you can wear all of your summer skirts and still be warm in the winter season I've got fleece lined leggings in this nude color as well as in black both of these look absolutely absolutely perfect under skirts under dresses and of course you're super super warm it's something that will help you recurate your wardrobe in the winter season as well once again they're super stretchy and you get these with your toes covered as well as with them uncovered so you can choose which option suits you better you'd rather buy something which does cover your toes your entire feet so you don't have to wear socks this is just a wiser way to go about it i hope you liked this video and you took away something from it if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up leave a comment down below letting me know if you'd want a video on footwear that every girl should be having. 
having i do post a lot of such videos over here which help you elevate your personal style and your presence if you would like to transform yourself and become the absolute best version of yourself make sure you're subscribing to this channel and i'll see you next time till then bye bye <laughs> It's time.